Welcome back for a new exercise. Some of you know that I am from Brazil, so I thought since we have been working with fruits from different continents, what better way to represent South America than to draw some beautiful jaboticabas. So today we are going to work on this fruit, which is native to South America, mainly Brazil. Jaboticabas are very round, and when they are ripe, they are pretty much black. When they are young, they start small and green, getting a little reddish on the way to becoming ripe. The jaboticaba tree gets covered with fruit. They have a very unique look. This is our reference photo for today. As usual, for the first portion of this video, I'm going to use my own colored pencils to draw the first two jaboticabas. And then, by minute 45, you will join in and we'll make one more jaboticaba using the 12 colored pencil set you have. For now, you can just watch. I separated a nickel to trace the round shape. In this case, it's just easier than trying to do it freestyle since this fruit is super round.
you look at the Jabotkaba's pictures, you'll notice that they are very dark and if they are exposed to the sunlight, they will reflect a lot of light. So if you color the whole thing black, you will not see any of the reflections on the fruit. So the most important thing in this exercise will be to pay attention to where you have your highlights and preserve them. Don't color the whole thing dark because it will be very difficult to add any highlights afterwards.
Since Jabotikaba has this reflective quality, you notice that the reflections will have different colors, depending on which color is bouncing off of the fruit. For example, this reflection on the bottom is kind of beige, because it's coming from this very close branch, which has a similar color. For some areas that are exposed to the sun, you'll notice they are a little bit more red. And in the highlight in the middle, you can see it's white, but there is a tiny bit of blue around this area that's probably the reflection of the sky. Here I'm using the same white pen from the previous lesson. I want to create a bit of a highlight on the side of this Jaboticaba. Basically, it all goes back to having good observation powers. You will draw or paint what you see and not what you think. But this takes practice and time to get used to. That's why I keep asking you to practice your observation skills. You also need to practice patience, because most of the time, when you are making your artwork, it will not look great in the beginning. But as you spend more time, it gets better. So don't give up before you really put in some effort. It does take time to get to the point that you see what you have done and say, yes, now it's good. So don't give up.
Here I am using a bit of a solvent to blend these colors and to allow me to apply more layers on top. You don't have to do that though. While I wait for this to dry, let's start with our color study. Don't forget to have your color chart close by. When you mix black and violet, you have a more vibrant color for your darker areas. Violet and red will be a nice variation for the areas you see some dark reddish. Orange and red will be a good mix for the area on the top of the fruit. Make your little branch. You can use the colors brown, yellow, orange, black, and maybe a little bit of green and blue. You can add a layer of brown and then make some marks to give the illusion of those little grooves, bumps, and flakes the branches have. Use the color black, brown, and blue in the darker areas of the branch and yellow and orange on the lighter areas. You can add a little bit of green in some areas to make it pop and more interesting.
Now let's start our Jabuticaba. We'll need the colors black, violet, red, orange and white. Remember to work in layers, applying very little pressure in the beginning and preserving your highlights.
This contrast between light and dark is what gives the illusion of reflection. Now it's time to take a look and see if you need to darken some areas to create more contrast or to apply a bit more of color. Maybe you can make another one if you have time, or if you are not happy with the way it turned out. Remember lots of practice, patience and of course time is what you need to bring your art to the next level. Nothing happens overnight. Don't give up.
don't forget to upload it to Flipgrid at the Hawk Art Gallery. I can't wait to see your artwork. next lesson we'll draw some persimmons and that will be the last lesson of fruits from different continents. I hope you enjoyed this exercise. See you next time!